Hello and welcome to Experience Boost. My name is Archive and we're playing some Pokemon Yellow version because my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version did not show up today. And I'm really sad about that. But I guess that'll teach me to buy a special bundle version from the Pokemon Center that comes with a special keychain plush and all of that stuff. Uh, I guess I'll just buy it digitally next time. So for all of those who maybe aren't playing or just want to see a noob do horribly at a speedrun, welcome to my speedrun of Pokemon Yellow version. I have not practiced at all, never, I've never attempted to speedrun in any way. Most preparation I've done for this is I have a guide here next to me, supposed to be helping for beginners. And I watched uh, probably the first half hour of a video done by the current world record holder for this uh, for speedrun, a Pokemon Yellow version without glitches, Gunner. So I know a little bit of what you're supposed to do, but this is going to be bad, guys. So stay with me here. Stay with me. Um, the first thing we're going to do is get back to the start here. Come on, Pikachu. Get me in there. And set, nope, set to fast, change animation to off, and battle style of set. That'll speed up everything as we play. That's obviously what this is all about, right? And we are going to, let me just get the timer going. Ready, set. Go! Go, 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 Oak. I know you're the Pokemon Professor. So the reason why I want to do a speedrun is I, I've kind of always wanted to. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to be horrible at it. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of finesse. But, uh, yes, I'm A. Sorry, guys, I have to focus. Like I said, I've done no practice, and I don't really want to mess up so early on. You're going to be B. I know that it took a second to move over to the right. That's okay. So I've just kind of had it on my gamer's bucket list to give it a try as a, to see how I do and how much fun it is. I love Gen 1. I actually played Blue as my first Pokemon game. Uh, I, I'm skipping the potion. Skipping the potion. I know it's going to cost me, but this is all about time. Oh man, it's so much more stressful. Uh, so I played Pokemon Blue. That was my first Pokemon game. I loved it. Probably have some stories here as I play through. I did not have Yellow. My younger brother had yellow and I mean it's definitely a lot closer to the anime because you start off with Pikachu, uh, Jesse, James, and Meowth are in here and Pokemon Let's Go series is actually kind of a reimagining of this game obviously because you have the Pikachu and then there's there's Eevee which is the other starter in this game actually the starter that I will not get to pick so as Oak pulls us along we'll get to check that out pull me up Oak All right, B, come on, man. Don't be so mean. Yes, thank you. I will, no, I took an extra step. Horrible. Oh, the noob failures. So he's obviously gonna take it. He's not gonna let me do anything. And, oh good, it's gonna pull me over there. Thank goodness. Now, sadly, even though this is Pokemon Yellow version, we are not going to use uh, Pikachu pretty much at all in this, uh, only for the initial until we can get the main star of the Generation 1 speedruns, which is Nidoran. I believe Nidoran Male is what we're going for in this game. Okay, this is all going to be luck. Uh, it's really based on the crits that you can get, and hopefully we win. Ooh, I got a paralyzation. That's gonna be awesome. Come on, show me that full para. Give me some good, ooh, and a critical. Man, give me that noob luck. Noob luck. Oh, that was a bad roll. But I think we're gonna clinch out the win, guys. Clinching out the win. I actually really like Eevee, which is why I got the Let's Go Eevee version. I'm looking forward to playing that with my family. Plan on doing a, a co-op Let's Play of all of us together. Unbelievable. Yeah, you picked the wrong Pokemon. Go fight and tub it up. Smell me later, huh? Look at that swagger. Um, okay. Apparently Pikachu doesn't want to stay in a Pokeball. I was completely not ready for that because, again, I uh, am not used to uh, this version. So I gotta go get Oak's Parcel. Oh, man. The time! 
The time. Pidgey. Get out of here, man. Now, the, the Pokemon trainer in me really wants to uh, train up against that Pidgey. I'm like, I got Thundershock. I could take it for super effective damage. Oh, I loaded this guy wrong. Oh, I did that wrong. There's some sort of thing you're supposed to do so that he can go some direction. Otherwise, he sits there forever. That was a mess up. It's all right. It's all right. The... Oh, darn it. He's blocking me off. Uh, just for everyone who's curious, the world record that I'm aware of when I looked it up today, uh, which is the release date of Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, November the 16th, was uh, one hour, 54 minutes, and a second, I think? Pretty sure that's what it is. Which, that's that's incredible. And you consider that, again, this is no glitches. Completely everything's within the confines of the game's code and rules. Yes, I know Professor Oak. Oh, good. I was like, do I have to hit A to take it? Or is, I'm gonna, is it going to be a Ocarina of Time owl situation where I get caught in the loop of saying things? Of, yes, tell me again. Or, no, I won't take it. And I have to keep talking to get it. Jump. Jump. Come on, take me home. Yeah. Alright. Let's talk to Oak here. Now, let's see here. Gotta check. Gotta check my uh, little guide here. Make sure I'm on track. Oh, I messed up here too. So what I should have done is actually go and stand above Oak when I talk to him. Because it technically makes... Uh, the screen closer to the top and so your rival has less uh, of a he has less distance to walk and so it speeds it up that way as well the guy's got so much swagger that he really just takes his time crossing the screen ah man such a noob so I'm hoping that by doing this as well it kind of can kind of just show that really anyone can do a speed run anyone can kind of just give it a try and and you can kind of see if you like it. I mean, I like the whole concept. I like the challenge. Um, and I'm hoping that... Uh, I mean, obviously, there's no way I'm going to get close to the world record. I'm actually just hoping to beat it under three hours. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. But that's kind of my personal goal. With the world record being two hours, I hope within an extra hour I can get through it. Level 2 Rattata. Or is it Rattata? I think growing up I said Rattata instead of Rattata. But then I keep... Ah, oh, I did it again. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that guy. But there's something you're supposed to do so he goes away. Or at least goes the other direction. Super annoying. Now at this point I have zero Pokeballs. So I have to go get those. There are several things I'll need in this game. Uh, obviously the main star is Nidoran, as I mentioned, to get us a Nidoking. But I'll need uh, a flying Pokemon. I'll need a Pokemon that can use cut and strength, etc. Alright, so my guide says to buy five of these. And then to buy... Nope. Six of these. This is where I'm going to slow down, guys. Alright. And we're going to get out of here. Uh, really, the whole idea is that you're going to have to m kind of manage the um, the number of battles that you have to obviously save time, but you need just you need enough battles to get enough experience to be strong enough to win, but to avoid too many so that uh, you don't waste too much time. But the less battles we fight, the less money we have, so we have to kind of plan accordingly and utilize our our money correctly and, and make sure we have the right items. There'll be some important items that are key to the role of this speed run. Grab that sweet potion. And obviously healing at Pokemon Centers takes time, so a lot of the stuff will be... Nope, went the wrong way. Alright, this is it, guys. This is it. Alright, what do I have? Oh, I don't have the chart up! I don't have the chart up! 
Oh my goodness. I don't have the chart up. Alright, uh... Uh, I messed it up guys. You're supposed to do what's called desumming here and you can actually gauge what Pokemon you're gonna see on your next encounter. <gasps> Did I get lucky? I got so lucky. I wasn't even... Oh man, that shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. Uh, this is the Pokemon you're going for. It's a level 6 Nidoran is the most ideal and I was not desumming. So... Nope, nope. Do something. Look it up. It's it's crazy. Like there's a cycle that's always going, and you can kind of gauge where you're at on the cycle based on um, the Pokemon you see when you first come into it, and so you can kind of get out, walk around to gauge your when you should show up in the cycle. Nidorans can be named. Uh, we're gonna call him N. I'm wasting time, but it's fine. All right, so we're going to switch Nidoran, and we're going to utilize a potion on Nidoran, and he is going to be kind of our main guy going forward. That was so lucky. Oh my goodness. That's noob luck right there, because that's the one you want to get, and if you know what you're doing and you can desum, you'll get it no problem. All right, so I will fight this trainer. There's certain trainers you want to fight. I don't remember exactly which ones are the ones we want. I think there's three in here I want to fight. Obviously I named my character and my rival. What did I select? Oh good, okay. I tried to switch. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to switch my moves. How do I do that? I thought it was... There we go. That'll save some time, because I'm going to use Tackle more often, obviously. I think I was supposed to use Leer, actually. That's not good. I'm already showing. Like I said, I read through a guide. I'm not looking at the guide for this battle. I should have looked at the guide for battle. Yeah, Leer. I should have used Leer. I'm going to get in trouble. see here. Alright, we're gonna leer. I I can leer one more time. I'm kinda wasting time here, but I don't have a choice. We're gonna use a potion, heal up. And we're gonna use tackle. This is where I'm going to struggle because it just as a you know regular player of Pokemon trying to follow a guide on what moves to use and when that's kind of a challenge for me. I just get caught up in you know fighting things and I've played Generation One so many times. Oh man, I missed. I missed. Oh, hanging on. And obviously, I'm not going to have the the uh, perfect control over my... Oh, good. I learned Horn Attack. Over my uh, power points that are used for the moves. I'm trying to conserve those perfectly. It's not going to happen. Grab that potion. Now if I see a Pidgeon here, I am going to catch it because I need a flyer as I mentioned. But if I don't, we're not going to worry about it. Oh, see, now really you want to get closer to him before he sees you because, again, the, long, the more distance they have to walk, the longer that the game takes. So there's a lot of control and a lot of things you have to plan for when you're doing this. Alright. So we are going to switch that. Leer one more time. And he's really lowering my 
my speed, and that's not good. Horn attack. Go N. I just remembered that N is the one of the characters in the Pokemon Black version games. Black and white. Alright, so Metapod will harden. So unless we get a critical, it's gonna take more time to get through him. Luckily he string shot it there, that was nice. I don't think I've ever seen a Metapod you string shot that wasn't a uh and a tackle? Interesting. That wasn't a one used by like me, like a trainer. I'm not gonna try to the the guide I have here says like use harden until it or use leer until it doesn't use harden. Um I'm just gonna finish it off with tackle here. Alrighty. Okay. I go out. And I'm still, still hoping to find a Pidgey. Come on, be Pidgey. Give me that flyer. Nope. Ah, I want to fight this thing for experience. Give me that sweet experience. I know we have to be level 12 before we fight Brock because that is the level that we get double kick at. I got so lucky with with Nidoran, I'm. I honestly don't know how, when I'll get the. Uh... All right, now, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna just use the potion now. Again, using up time. That's fine. No problem. What's my hurry? I am doing a speed run of Pokemon Yellow. Come on, deal with it, man. Bug catchers. Let's do a leer. All right, and horn attack. Slowing me down. Well, that should be a two shot. It's so close, it could go either way. Come on, give me that good roll. Oh. Go, Caterpie, go. Go and faint. All right, I am level 10. I should be able to get to level 12 in Brock's gym. I think that's the plan. All right, so I did not find a flyer. I'm just gonna try to do this real quick um, because I know I can find a Pidgey here with relative ease. Again, I know there's a whole manipulation D sum. Look it up. I don't have. I was not smart enough to open up the chart before I left. So there we go. That'll work. That will work, Pidgey. All right. Give me a tackle. Don't kill it. There we go. We've got Gust already. Man, Yellow did so many updates. Blue, they did not have Gust this early. All right, got my flyer. Check that off my list. All right, get through the Pokemon. No, I do not want to name it because I'll never be using it in battle. All right. Going to the gym directly. Nope, all right. Now, here we're gonna save, because if I die, I'm gonna have to go through a lot of places. So this is the safety save, as I've been told. All right. I mean, you use Leer, I've never, like, I never used Leer. When I was playing Blue, I just, I just never saw the point. Just attack all the way. As I get older, I definitely see the, the value in doing that. Now, Diglett's super fast, so he can get a lot of critical hits because uh, crits are based on your speed stat in this game. So... That wasn't a crit? Man, that was awesome. 
All right, finish off Diglett here. There's level 11. And Sand True. All right, we're gonna go with a Leer first. How much damage do you do? Ooh, I'm gonna heal up. No! No! <laughs> no! Oh, this is not good, this is not good. This is not good. All right, we are resetting, guys. Because that was not that was not according to plan. That was a new mistake. New mistake. That's why we did the safety save. That is why we did the safety save. Oh, Pokeballs. It takes practice. It takes some legit practice. All right, let's try again here. Let's go in. Give me a leer. Watch, they're gonna get crits all the time now. And a horn attack. Oh yeah, good roll, N. Good roll, that puts us in a much better position for this sand true. Leer. So I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to read, read ahead here, so I can keep up on my on what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, now use a potion because I do not want to have to restart. And horn attack. I probably should have leered twice on this guy. I'm guessing that's what my guide says. So mistake. Mistake on my part. That's okay. All right, we are now at level 12. Learning. Look at that. They they plan it so, so smartly. All right. We are going to heal up again, and we're going right for the right for Brock. Do it. Do it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so now that we have Double Kick, which is super effective against Rock types, we're actually gonna open up with, with Double Kick. And now if you're really good at speedrunning, you are like looking at the stats of this particular Nidoran that I have to kind of see what uh, what its attack stat is. I have no idea if this is a good Nidoran or not. And it doesn't look too bad to me. It looks like this could kind of could finish it off maybe, but we got a low roll there. Ooh, so close. All right, we'll just finish it off with a tackle. Because I hate wasting power points on something I don't need to. Okay. So I'm... The ideal situation is that he uses Bide. Because that will basically just charge up for two turns. Now that he, he should release on this turn and just do double the damage. Um, see, and I survive, so it's good calculated there, and I should finish him off here. Bam. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. And because I'm in the red, it actually sped things up a bit in terms of sound. what he was using. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, oh, nope, can't go that way. All right, now I'm supposed to hold off of healing completely at a Pokemon Center until I get to the next place, uh, right outside Mount Moon. So that's what we're gonna shoot for. Uh, I'm actually gonna step up here and use my potion, because I think I need to. Okay, so I have to fight this guy. All 
All right, so. I should be using Horn Attack a couple times. Yeah, Horn Attack twice should definitely finish this guy off. I'm actually really amazed that uh, it's working out this well. I mean, I'm, I'm not even a half hour in, I already beat Brock. Usually I'm still, you know, prior to Brock because I'm training up my whole team, you know, that I've caught and raised and everything. Oh, I'm not, uh, I technically should have done a horn attack and a tackle, according to my guide. Probably just because of the, of the power points you save. Because again, I have to make it to that, that Pokemon Center, so if I run out, that's going to set me, set me behind. That's alright, that's alright though. Okay, so that bug catcher is down. Now I'm gonna go as close as I can to this guy so he doesn't have to walk. All right, so this is a normal type, weak to double kick, so that's what we'll use. Ooh, gotta watch out, oh no! I'm gonna chance it. Come on in. Oh, holding on that too there. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to heal up because I just have to. Oh no, not wrap. This is not good, guys. This is not good. All right, so let's go with uh, Horn Attack. Okay, Poison t Sting we can take. That wrap, it, it just, uh, in Generation 1 it locked you so you couldn't do anything. And you just kind of have to wait it out. I like how we have double po purple Pokemon here though. Purple Pokemon, say that five times fast. All right. Luckily, at this point, we're higher level, we're faster. Level 15. Alright. Uh, I know I'm wasting time. But I'm, I'm not going to risk dying here. So I'm going to probably have some money management problems, but if I need to, I'll fight extra trainers. That's just what I'll do. Let's go. Again, Rattata or Rattata? What do you guys prefer? There we go. Give me that double kick magic. Alright, we're gonna go with Horn Attack. And we're going with a tackle. Boom! Give us the XP! Okay, so now I would just go down so that I fight that, fight that guy before I could continue. But apparently it saves you more time if you just come back to Pewter City. And then come back out on the route. And that last has now moved. So we can now continue on, staying close to this guy. Catcher, what do you have? How many horn attacks do I have left? I have four. Alright, let's use double kick. I think bug resist double kick. Oh man, not a good strategy. Should have gone with tackle. I'm not sure, again, I'm, I'm using some strategies I saw from Gunner when I watched his video, the, the first 30 minutes there. Um, and then obviously still using this beginner's guide. So some of those things may be conflicting and I may not be fighting the right trainer according to the beginner's guide. Uh, 
Uh, last turn attack. Perfect. All right, I think after this, though, I get to go into... Sweet! Evolving right on time, I think. I'll take a little drink of water here. Nidorino. Such a sweet design. I love the, the, the Nido lines. It's just so great. All right, we're not gonna... No! Dang it! Ah! Oh. I pressed... Ugh, I went forward one, one, one too many spaces. Guys, I'm supposed to walk around her. Ugh. Oh. Thankfully, it's a normal type, and I've got double kick. But still, it's just a, you know, a waste of time. Not like a huge amount of time, but still a waste of time when you're trying to speedrun. It's gonna get in the way. At least I'll have a little bit extra money, right? Because I spend all my money on potions and stuff. I have zero potions. I hope that doesn't come back to get me. Probably will. Probably will. I already have my flyer, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so this is the sad part for a lot of people. Um, first of all, need to heal. Yes, please. Oh, I should have deposited Pikachu first. Uh, that slows me down. Uh, so, I, like I mentioned, depositing Pikachu, that's what you're going to do, even though this is yellow version. It's not about Pikachu, at all. He uh, slows us down, and he can't evolve, and that's not going to be helpful to us. Oh, he's so sad. Bye, Pikachu. Well, while I'm already wasting time, let's get this potion out, shall we? Perfect. All right. Okay, uh, I know this is also wasting time, but I'm going to do a safety save here, because I'm a noob. Noob power! Alright. Now apparently if you turn right here and then go up, it it resets the... Oh, man. Wow, level 11 Clefairy. I'd love to catch that. That's like super low chance. I'm having a lot of luck in terms of the chance. I really hope I don't run into trainers, though. Like, that's the problem, is I don't know where to stand. So I feel like I'm going to run into trainers. Um, just just because it's going to happen. Alright. Uh, let walk this way. Yeah, okay. Avoid that guy. Uh, you need to get some items in here. Like this rare candy, for example. I don't know what that is, but Gunner passed it up, so I'm passing it up too, you know. Watch out for that trainer. Don't want to see that guy come up this way. That was a pretty good run, actually, of not having an encounter. Stone is up here that will allow us to evolve Nidorino into a Nidoking, King, which is pretty broken when you think about it. But I will wait to do so. Now, I don't think I need to, but I'm here and so I'm going to do it anyway just for the extra experience because um, I don't know what level I need to be at or anything like that. So, just going to do it real quick. need this, but I'm being a noob and being cautious, so I'm just going to spend a couple seconds getting a little bit of extra experience. Oh, that's going to cost me then. Critical hit. You couldn't have done that earlier, N. Really? Alright, where is there a rocket there? 
I'm really amazed how fast you can burn through this game if you have a plan for it. I think you can catch Paris as a cut Pokemon, but um, I'm kind of just following this beginner guide and it doesn't say to do that. I'm pretty sure I can just use the Charmander you get later on. Wow, it really wants me to, to have a, a Paris, doesn't it? It's alright, Paris. Oh my goodness, if you're Paris again. Oh my goodness. It just, it wants to join the team. It really wants, to, it's just following me now. Add me to your team. No, you creepy bug. I guess you sad bug. It's gonna be taken over by the by the mushrooms. All right. So the super nerd. This is where we're going to evolve. Uh, I guess I just use the rare candy All right now. Let's see here. Yeah, we're just gonna evolve. So I guess the reason why you don't evolve uh, Nidorino earlier is because his cry is longer. So the more battles you had with the longer cry, it wastes time. And here you go, 35 minutes into the game, I've got a Nidoking. King. So that's awesome. Fight me, super nerd. There we go, look at that power. Give him a horn attack. Oh, critical hit. Nido King, you're a you're a champ. I know I shouldn't have switched to tackle there, guys. I know I shouldn't have. But it's hard not to. Alright. Uh, let's do horn attack. It's hard not to try to save. Like there, he just had a little bit of life. So I only wanted to use, you know, a move that didn't cost that much, right? I'm not going to use that much. Alright, I should have gone the other direction. Coughing. They fixed his sprite, and so in blue I grew up with him having the, uh, his face below the symbol, which was kind of funny. Level 18. That's crazy when you just do a solo run with a single Pokemon here. Alright, so the Helix Fossil, obviously, just because it's straight ahead of us, saves time. Saves time for him. I'm actually a bigger fan of Kabuto and Kabutops. I just think their design is sweet. And here you are, as the tie into the anime Jesse and James. Where's Meowth? Alright, Ekans. You shall not rap me. Because I get a critical hit. Oh, yeah, you go in. You go, man. Alright. Let's give him the old double kick. Oh, my goodness. N. N. Stop it, man. Calm down. Calm down. I need to go the other way. Another horn attack. Oh, we missed! Oh, I hate that. But he gets the crit to make up for it. You go in. Do you know that even 100% moves have a chance to miss in this game? Generation 1. Crazy things happened. Out of here. Perfect. Now there's probably some other red rare candy around here. I don't know where it is. And you know, that's sad, but it's gonna happen. Unless well, it's the one behind the guy's house. Maybe that's where it is. Should I chance it? Do I risk time, guys? Watch that huge change. 
Oh, I guess I can just go there, huh? Oh, nope, it's up here. Should be behind here. I remember there's some item up here. But where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Alright, now we're going to fight our rival B. And this one can be pretty challenging. Uh, what's our life at? We're probably fine. I'm just gonna save, guys. I'd rather waste time saving so I can reset than I would have to, you know, run and heal up. Alright. Come fight me. Show me, B. I actually really like his design. Ooh, my goodness. It's crazy, he's already at level 18. And I've soloed one Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Give that sweet critical hit. Oh, sand attack. So bad. Alright, let's see here. Oh, good. We're still hitting, at least. We're still hitting. That's what we need. Double kick it up. Give him a six second kick. Yeah. And you have an Eevee? There we go. Double kick again. Oh, uh, see, there's the miss. There's the miss. That's right, though. We can take that miss. Oh, second miss. Again, sand attack's real in this game. Seriously. Uh, I think I heard uh, in the video that I was watching again, it can lowers you one sand attack can lower you to a 67% chance. Pretty crazy. All right, B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Do, 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 do. I love that theme song. Yeah, let's fight. Nugget Bridge. Okay, I'm supposed to fight the three first Nugget people here. And then I should be high enough that I can get to level 23 with the rare candies that I got. Finishing him off. Still though, a fully evolved Pokemon, even if your levels are similar, man, the stats are just outrageous. Having a Nidoking, my goodness. It's just crazy. Nugget person two. Keeping up in suit and horn attacking. Oh man, I have my, uh, I'm drinking water over here, but I also have my carbonated drink of choice, Diet Pepsi over here, so let's take a little sip of that. Oh, Nidoran female. I'm sorry. I once played through a... Uh, I was playing a randomized Leak Green, and my starter was a Nidoran female. I called her Reyna. And she was doing great, and then I whited out right here on my uh, rival battle. It was very, very sad. Alright. Nugget 3, and then we should be level 21 so that we can use the two rare candies. Double kick. There's that level 21. And there's the horn attack. Man, one hit. And horn attack you as well. Critical hit. Just just to rub salt in the wound. Alright. Level 
22. And level 23. Trying to learn Thrash. Yes, I will teach that over Tackle. That's what I've been told to do. Again, guys, I'll put the link down below of the guide that I'm using. Um, it's supposed to be for beginners, so we'll see. All right, so learning Thrash is a move that kind of locks me into things, but it's very powerful. So I guess we kind of just rely on it for at least a little bit here. And it also saves time, I believe, as well. So we'll switch Horn Attack and we will use Thrash. And let's see what it does. See, it just immediately goes right into it. So because I don't have to select, it obviously saves time. Uh, he's locked into Thrash for several turns, and uh, it's a powerful move. So, look at that. Look at that. Critical hits just because he can. I have 76 HP total. That's so crazy. Alright, Nugget 4, or this is Nugget 5. Junior Trainer. Yay, I yeah, got the... No, I don't want to join. There we go. That rocket sprite. I think a guy's walking around with a whip, you'd know he's he's up to something, especially when he's wearing a black uniform with a big R on it. Thrash! I wonder what that looks like. What would it look like if that Nidoking is thrashing about? That'd be terrifying. That would be terrifying. That's right, I'm good. Good at following instructions. Alright, I'm supposed to get a Charmander. I don't know where I get a Charmander. Is it through this guy? That's not good. I'm hoping it's this guy, otherwise I'm just wasting time. We'll use a double kick. Probably should just use Thrash. Nope, not this guy. Charmander? Here we go. Yes, I will take it. No, I will not nickname Charmander. I don't know what this is, but I have to grab it. I know it was a waste, guys. I know it was. You're supposed to manage your items. Alright, let's see here. So, if I fight this guy. We could Thrash, but Thrash is a normal type move, which is not good against rock types. So we are going to instead go for the super effective double kick. And with a critical hit and an extra kick, they will crumble. Alright. So we are going to go for the last. about. Thrash about. And finish off the other Nidoran. I feel bad about that. Goodbye, Nidoran. 
All right. Gotta fight this guy. Are you off to see a Pokemon collector at the Cape? What? No! I would say I am too, but really I'm just trying to get through this game as quickly as possible. Alright, double kick for the win! Did I miss? I really missed. Uh, Generation 1, why are you so bad? No, I'm just kidding. It's fantastic, guys. Generation 1 has such a special place in my heart. I can appreciate the other generations for sure, but I mean, it's my first Pokemon game, and I've played it several times over. It's hard not to have a, a special place for the first game you play, right? Alright, I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, probably just Thrash. I'm probably even fighting the wrong guys, who knows. At least I'm level 25, though. I think that's good. Skip you guys. Have to fight you. I'm hoping that one of my brothers will be able to join me here, so it's not just me you have to listen to. Thrash! I got really confused there for a second. I'm like, Thrash, what, what's going on? How come I didn't select anything? Again, a thrashing Needle King? My goodness, that would be so scary. All right, let's go help out Mr. Bill so we can get a sweet SSN ticket. This sounds like a horrifying experiment. Why, why would you experiment on yourself? That's right, A did. A's a champion. A for archive. time for this. Alright, got the SSN ticket. We'll take the shortcut here all the way back. Go, go, go. Am I supposed to heal up yet? Yeah, I'm supposed to heal up, because I've used up some moves, used up my life. Let us heal. Yes, I wanted to do it. I kept hitting A. I need to be getting to have it of hitting B. All right. I guess I'm supposed to fight Misty's trainer. Oh, I'm supposed to fight that trainer, not this trainer. I was like, why would why would anyone in a speed run fight this trainer if they didn't have to fight this trainer? It's because you don't have to. Duh. 